Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Vathar and also Grace on Records. And today we're going over IED, Incinerary Eradication Doctrine with Felt Fed, Cyclic, Soul Ripping Nightmare on Grace on Records. Five tracks of bestial Black Death Savagery from Salem, Oregon. Gray Sun Records. Played in the style of early Beharit and Blasphemy. You know what you're getting into here. And it is some legit top shelf bestial Black Death Metal. It's on fucking point. Like, I was told by a source that this inspiration comes from the United States Marine Corps sigil, except for it's the Lord Below with his mighty bat wings and a gas mask. But this is based on the United States Marine Corps sigil. Which is fucking cool as shit. Fully automatic hatred of life traveling 4,000 feet per second over uniformly sloping cadavers. The white hot waves of interlocking fields of depleted uranium. Fire. Leech us. Oh, that is so awesome worded. Belch a symphony of slaughter, impacting center mass, affecting catastrophic preliminary hydraulic decompression. Head split. Armor shatters and overpressure displaces liquefied organs. Clouds of pink mist snap and pop from bubbling flesh. Gurgling prayers scream past evaporating vocal cords. Only fall on death melting ears. Rolling hills of grossly stacked corpses nestled against the glowing pillar of a slowly blooming mushroom cloud. Zero fucking chance of survival. Incinerary eradication is doctrine. Yep. Fucking A. If you dig your best deal, Black Death Metal, Savage, Raw, and Boop Free, yeah. This is on the money, like, early Beharit, like, Dawn of Satan's Millennium. It's a great mix of, like, the Oath of Black Blood and stuff, like the, the compilation. And of corpse. But I would say more the demo. Like, there's definitely, there's more of a Blood Upon the Altar vibe. The vinyl version I have is on the Gods of War Osmos reissue. Some of you might have never seen this before, so, yeah. I know it's kind of weird looking, but this is, I, I... I love this, like, little, like, double LP set here. Like, it comes with some gnarly, you know, blasphemy stuff. 
And this is the uh, Osmos reissue of Gods of War. But it's like a double LP. So you get the uh, Blood Upon the Altar demo as the B-side. That's how it worked. I forgot how it works. I was like, wait, it's a single LP. But like, you get the original. Like, I, I love this uh, artwork. It's just, it's so fucking sick. And just a great picture. It's a, I love this reissue, but I would love to get the Nuclear War Now cassette version. But Gods of War, I feel like a lot of people overlook this record. Like, it's not as, you know, it's still blasphemy. It's still better than most. But, definitely, if you're a fan of early Beherit, you can't go wrong with IED. I really need to get the uh, Drawing Down the Moon picture disc. I love it's so just sick. I, I have drawing down the moon on vinyl, but I just I'm a nerd when it comes to picture discs. And like the Oath of Black Blood one was just so fucking nice. But back to IED This shit rules, like it's not like super over the top. It's exactly what it needs to be. And that's bestial, black, and filled with death. This is Armageddon. This is the soundtrack to warfare. Just sonically portrayed by some maniacs in Salem, Oregon. To me, one of the best scenes in America when it comes to extreme music. And of course, I'm having problems closing the LP, because why wouldn't I? So we'll get back to that. But, like I said, I really love, like, just the fact that they have their own sigil and knowing where its roots come from is even sicker. But melting sky, bleed out, high explosive, high explosive anti-personnel, locate close with and destroy and air bursting submissions. Killer, killer, bestial black death. Grace on records. And we have Sarcanistic Blast Phenomic Atomic Christ. Sorry if I messed that up. It's kind of hard to read. I apologize. And then Thermo Thermobaric Flesh Vaporizing Vitrifactor. Hell yeah. And Incinerary Eradication Doctrine is available on Grey Sun Records. GSR053. Killer fucking shit. On a nice uh, C62 Pro T. Good shit, trust me.
I would grab a copy before it's gone. And if you're going to grab a copy of this, I would grab a copy of The Realm Split with Cemetery Seance. I hope I said that right. That's one of those band names I always miss. Yeah, Cemetery Seance. I'm sorry. This is also absolutely killer. And I, I was... I was debating which one I wanted to go over today, and I decided I wanted to play the IED tape today just because I was listening to it, like, kind of a lot recently. It's just really good. I've been going from, like, that and list that a lot of Hellhammer for some reason. Like, I don't really listen to Hellhammer that much. Uh, Caligari Records, um, I always fuck up this band's name, I wish I would have gotten this LP, I think Nuclear War Now did it, but it's, uh, in Those of the Catacombs by, uh, Skullopendria, this is so fucking good, and just no one talks about it, death metal can kill instantly, this shit rolls so much. But I know Nuclear War Now, I'm like 98% sure, did the vinyl of this. So good. The Antichrist Siege Machine catalog on cassette, including the promo tape. I don't have any tour promos, but the filth to the world promo, I mean. But they listen to a lot of ASM. And I'm going to listen to some Morbid Triumph right now. But, yeah, Grey Sun Records has some gnarly new shit in. And definitely recommend Incinerary Eradication Doctrine. So good. Because normally, when you get to like a bestial black death metal band these days, there's a lot of like outside elements and stuff. But like, unless you're a band like Profane Order, like the new Profane Order, like even sold out of fucking CDs. Like that's crazy. I, I love Profane Order. I'm pretty sure I have the LP coming, which is rad. Because I thought I missed it. I was like, ah, like fuck. Like, as soon as I saw that the tape sold out, I was like, oh, no. Like, oh, I slept on that. Like, no. But belt-fed, cyclic, soul-ripping nightmare by Incinerary Eradication Doctrine. This is such a good listen. It's extremely well-performed. The production is exactly what you should expect. From a Bestial Black Death release. And yeah, it's fucking sick. If you're a fan of early Beharit, blasphemy, like I said, you can't really go wrong here with IED. And again, the Marine Corps sigil, cool as fuck. Thank you to the individual that gave me that information. I'm not sure if it was kind of meant to be like a little Easter egg because I recognized it. If you watch the original video, I'm like, oh, like that looks familiar. But now I know, like, oh, like that's the Marine Corps sigil, but satanized, if that makes, if that's even a fucking word. <laughs> but yeah, it's great. This is a killer slab of Sonic Warfare. Hails to IED and belt fed, cyclic, soul ripping nightmare. Incinerary eradication doctrine. Grey Sun Records. Killer. Killer fucking warfare. Now, war sucks in real life, but when it comes to music, it's always a good influence. But 
the end of the day, it is a bummer, but that's life. And because of YouTube, I'm not going to sing anymore. <laughs> but as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Thank you to the Salem Cult Eternal, Grace on Records, Bathar, Perthboro, everyone in Salem, Oregon, and you maniacs at home for watching. You fucking rule. I really hope you grabbed an accursed womb long sleeve. These are so nice, so comfortable, and yes, I'm wearing my own band's t-shirt. That's how nice these are. So if you slept on these, I don't know what to tell you. Like, these are fucking dope. I mean, maybe, because I'm not in charge of that stuff, so if you are interested and you missed the pre-order, email accursedwomb at gmail.com and maybe Pat can help you out. He's in charge of that stuff. I have no idea. This is a test shirt and I just happen to love it and I wear it and I'm happy that, you know, this is like something kind of came from my imagination. Like from the logo idea the song title, Euphoric Loathing, the artwork, the Prison Coward type. Like, it's just, it's on the money, and, like, the art, it's just super what I wanted. It's just, it's exactly, it, it's dialed. And very comfortable, you know, the sleeves aren't, like, you know, some of those new long sleeves that just are, like, up to here. <laughs> They're pretty much three quarter sleeve shirts, and it, I don't know why, but like a lot of long sleeves I've been getting are super short in the sleeve area. It's weird, like, and it differs too. But yeah, these turned out really good. Like I've been washing and wearing this since we first got the samples, and yeah, I really hope that we sold a good amount of these. Because they're fucking awesome. But thanks for watching as always. We still have a Cursed Wound patches. Sold out of Frog Mist tapes at the moment. Thank you for supporting Frog Mist. I appreciate it. Again, I am not in charge of shipping. I'm sorry. But that's just that I do not have a printer. That's not... That's not my area i apologize but if you have a shipping label made it's it's coming so calm down but as always thanks for watching you fucking rule hails <laughs>